So let's talk about a specialised animal cell. Let's talk about sperm cell. Sperm cell's obvious function is to fertilise the egg cell. To do this, they have a very specialised structure because they need to travel from the opening of the vagina through to the uterus of the oviducts where they will hopefully um, find an egg cell. So the first key feature here is they have a streamlined shape. So we've got the head, the mid piece, and then our tail. Obviously our tail is for movement in a sort of corkscrew sort of manner. It sort of flies itself around to propel the sperm cell through the vagina and up through the uterus into the oviduct. Within our mid piece, we have lots of mitochondria. And obviously our mitochondria carry out aerobic respiration which is really important because it releases energy and that energy is going to be used to allow that sperm to swim. Within the head, we've got two key features. The first bit is right at the tip. This is a section that contains enzymes called acrosomes. And these are enzymes that when they reach the egg cell, they will explode on contact and break down the egg cells, um, cell membrane allowing it to penetrate inside. So it breaks down eggs cell membrane. And then our final structure within the head is our nucleus. Now this nucleus is different from other animal cells as in it's what we call haploid. And it has half a set of genetic information. So half a set of DNA and in this case, that would be 23 chromosomes because you need 23 chromosomes for your dad, 23 chromosomes for your mum, combined to set together to make a full set of 46. And that's everything you need to know about sperm cells.